Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch. Welcome back to our ongoing game development for Complete Beginners tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at starting with Lua. Specifically, we're going to download, configure, and run our very first script. And that's about it. So we just want to get your Lua development environment up and running. And this should result in a pretty short, pretty quick video. Uh, and we should be up and going as soon as we're done. Now, one thing I should say right off the hop is this is going to be a Windows-centric tutorial and a tutorial series. Uh, everything we're doing here also works on Mac OS and on Linux, uh, but it's a lot easier for me to capture the videos on Windows, and the majority of developers are using Windows. So if you're out there and if you do get hung up on the Mac or the Linux install, let me know, and I might be able to do a, a video on covering that particular process. But in this case, I'm going to show the Windows install process. So if you're on one of those other platforms, it's going to be a slightly different route that you go. The end result is you need to have Lua installed and probably in your system path. And the way you do that is different per operating system. So what I'm looking at today is Windows specifically. All right, so without further ado, the first thing we're going to need is to download Lua. And this is actually a little bit more confusing than it needs to be. Now, with this tutorial series, we're going to move to Love a little bit down the road. And Love includes a version of Lua. If you want a bit more on what exactly I'm going on about there, I did an optional video. I'll link it down below explaining exactly what Love is. But the key thing to take away is Love includes a version of Lua, which is kind of a mashup between version 5.1 and 5.2. Now, there's a 5.3 out as well, and 5.3 is a little bit less popular, shall we say. It moved to 64-bit, which is a good thing, but it did it in such a way that didn't play well with a lot of existing code. So a lot of people, including Love and LuaJIT, which Love uses, have not moved past 5.2. So today what we're going to do is start with 5.2. So as I said just a second ago, we're going to start with Lua and then switch to Love a little bit later on. So first we're going to have to download the Lua binaries. They're available on Lua.org. Here's the homepage, Lua.org. And then from here, go to the Downloads directory and then find binaries like so. And go to Get a Binary. Now what we're looking for, pick your platform of choice. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead with Windows. Go to the Lua Forge Lua Binaries project right here. And what we want to use is 5.2 point something. So I'm going to go with 5.2.4 release one, this link right here. And when you click it right off the hop, there's going to be this option right here. What are you looking for is this guy. And that is what we're looking for. Now, one thing that can be a little confusing here is there's this libraries or tools. It's tools that we're going to be using. We're actually going to use this one specifically. So go ahead and download it. The libraries version is because Lua is designed so that you can link it or push it into another programming for embedding it into a different, um, program. And that's not what we're working with today. So what we want to grab for sure is the tools version, this binary right here. So once that's downloaded, just take that executable wherever it is. And then we want to take the archive. So we want to basically take the contents of that. So that's Lua. That is the completeness of Lua. Nice and easy. So just take that and copy it into wherever you want Lua to be. So in this case, I'm going to put mine in the dev folder, create a new folder called Lua 5.2 like so, and we're almost there. So just paste those files in. So Lua is now on our system and good to go. The one thing I would recommend you do, so you have one of two choices here. You can not do this next step. And then for every time you use Lua, you have to put its full path into the command prompt. So for example, if I wanna run Lua where it is now, I have to go ddev Lua52 Lua, like that. And I did an error. Oh like that. So that is one way of running Lua, kind of a pain in the butt. So we're not going to take that approach. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add it to our system path. There are a number of ways we can do this. We can use the set X command, which is easy to screw up for path. So I don't really recommend it. I'm on Windows 10 here. So this process is going to work for Windows 10. But if you are on Windows 7 or possibly 8, what you could do is right click my computer and click properties to get to the same general area. So what we're going to do in this case, just bring your start menu and type advanced. And what we want is view advanced system settings. This guy right here, just click that. And then down here, so you're in the systems properties window. This will also be where you got, if you right clicked my computer and did properties, it'll bring you to this guy as well. Click the advanced tab and go to environment variables. So now under environment variables, you wanna locate under system variables, locate path. And once path is found, just double click it and then do new. And we just wanna put in, uh, Dev Lua 5.2. The path to wherever we just installed Lua, like that. 
and done and okay. Now, if you're on Windows 7 or XP, you're gonna have to reboot your computer before these will take effect. But now when you open up a command prompt, anywhere you are, I already have one. Okay, make directory Lua2. Anywhere you are, you can now just run the Lua command. And this, this brings up the, um, the command line version. So you can actually start typing Lua commands directly into Lua now. But what we instead want to do is pass a script to it. Now using whatever editor you want to use, I'm going to cover this as well. I've got a link down below um, that I'll actually include that has a link of all the most popular editors and IDEs for developing with Lua. An IDE is an integrated development environment, or you can, it's a glorified text editor with a little bit more functionality, generally project management, um, the ability to run your script directly from inside, and some of them have debugging and a lot of nice features in there like uh, syntax highlighting, so you get nice color coding on your code, and auto completion, which is invaluable when you're just starting out. And trust me, even when you've been doing stuff for a long time, code completion is a wonderful feature. So I would recommend you use something more than Notepad for writing your scripts, but you can use just Notepad, which is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to create a script called main.lua. So Notepad main.lua. And you'll see if you're on single monitor like I am. So here we go. This just opened up that script for us in this directory. And we're just gonna do our first ever Lua script. Very simple, just print hello world. Now hello world is probably the most common starting program ever done. And this is about as simple as a hello world can possibly get. And once you've done this and saved it, Congratulations, you just wrote your first ever Lua script. And if I do a dir on this directory, you'll see now we have main.lua right here in this directory. And the contents are what we just typed. Just that single command, print hello world. Now don't worry about the specifics like the brackets and the quotes. We'll cover all of that in a few seconds. Just type this exactly as I did. And now we can run our first program. So instead of doing, um, loading Lua and typing line by line, we're going to pass in that script instead. So main.lua and it will run it for us. And there you see, we just wrote and ran our first ever Lua executable or sorry, our first ever Lua script. Uh, just print up hello world to the screen. Let me clear my screen and we'll just do just that. Ta-da, welcome to Lua. You've just wrote your first program and we're going to go from here. So that's it. It's that simple. Now I want to show you one thing very quickly. If you do press Lua, like this, Lua 5.2, and you, so you run it from the command. I could actually type code line by line. And it will print out the result as you go. This is something called REPL, um, read, evaluate, print loop. And it is a wonderful way to learn and just to play with a programming language. We might use it a little bit in the future. So it's one of the very nice features about Lua. Now, if you do find yourself in here and you're stuck, you'll notice if I just keep pressing enter, I'm still stuck in the interpreter. It's still looking for me to write more commands to it for it to run. We can exit out of that by pressing control and C and then we're back to where we are. Uh, so at this point now, you should have Lua up and running. Uh, you should have it configured. You just wrote your first program. If something went wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to try and figure it out. And if my video isn't clear enough, I will make a new one. Uh, so I'm gonna do an optional video followed up on some of the editors that are available. So you can use something better than Notepad or whatever the native editor is for your system. And I will also do that link down below to gain from scratch the list of all of the editors out there that I currently recommend for Lua and Love development. Uh, myself for this tutorial series, I'll be using IntelliJ IDEA. I'm not sure I recommend IntelliJ IDEA for you like a very beginner. There's a lot of work in setting it up and it's kind of overkill, but what it has is it has a nice presentation mode. So I'm gonna make it so you can read what I'm typing very, very easy in future um, tutorials. I actually recommend you probably start, if you can't figure out which one to use and you don't have a text editor you'd like to work with, download Zero Brain. It's one of the ones linked in that list. It's about as easy to set up and full featured as you're going to find on that list. Uh, so that was it. You now have Lua up and going. Stay tuned and we'll keep going from here. See you later. Bye.